Hi Libra, welcome into a general reading for you. I hope you're doing well out there. Um, I felt guided to get a general reading done for you, so there's something here for you. But before we jump into the cards and see what you're here for, um, do remember to book a personal reading for myself. All the information is down below in the description box, including my email, which is what you, you will utilize to reach on out, okay? Um, but we're beginning with the Seven of Cups and the Three of Wands. I pre-pulled them. And I really feel like, my friend, there is a focus on options, on accomplishments moving forward. I feel like for a lot of which to onto the reading, there's new love, um, new commitment on the horizon. Um, questions roll around in your Libra and mind about what lies ahead, about what you left behind, and how much uh, is going to benefit you uh, along your path moving forward. But I really feel a confidence about you in uh, a non-forcing, simplistic way that's going to benefit you greatly. When you desire something, it's not going to come in right away per se. It might, right, in a very rare sense. But I do feel this uh, manifestation, co-creating um, energy coming to be, growing, and even being enhanced at certain points in your life, where a lot of which are desiring that commitment with somebody love-wise um, or that new love-oriented situation to flow on in. I'm hearing for somebody a knight in shining armor, if you will, um, of some kind but it feels like you're needing to remember even if you're somebody who reminds other people or somebody in particular divine timing my friend what you're manifesting what you're co-creating what you're communicating and working towards even that's coming in all right and i feel like it's not a time period for you to expect for you to have to go all the way in order to achieve something in order to see something come in for you it's more of a meet that person halfway um, uh, or meet that accomplishment halfway, um, utilize your spiritual connection, your gifts, uh, skill set to make things happen easier as well. I hope that makes sense. Um, it's not a time of overcomplication in so many different ways uh, where I feel like that uh, definitely was part of your past. But look at this, the magician card, all right? And I feel like this is a time for you where there is power within your grasp that you're not fully grasping does that make sense kind of contradicting in the wording but it, it's this feeling of you being quite powerful in your ability to again manifest to see things come to be to change your reality for the better and gain what you want and need so amazingly but at times you forget that or you don't notice it fully um, you're not remembering how much you can do as a libra in a less um draining kind of way as well let's keep pulling they're pushing me to look at the infinity symbol i feel like as a libra this is a time period for you where the possibilities are through the roof is the wording i'm getting um there's a magical vibe about how you do what you do um that you've gained experience and knowledge uh about and from uh rewinding back and so it's a time to utilize that, but selectively, strategically. You're a very strategic soul type of sign where you're not given enough credit, I feel, for having that ability. Um, and when you utilize it, it feels like it's unnoticed or it just kind of doesn't uh, give you everything you desire in the moment. So maybe you don't give enough credit uh, or noticing. Um, but the Ace of Wands, it feels like there's a lot of passion within you in the mental department, but... Uh, the heart uh, area as well interesting wording and there's something about you gaining peaceful abundance moving forward in so many different forms and it may feel like some of which if not all of which a long time coming but i was also given the message of with the ace of wands a lot of new beginnings for you lying ahead all right it definitely feels love oriented for a lot career or job or uh, even money related and it's okay i feel you need to be reminded to uh, be motivated to bring money in solely with a uh, okay I'm hearing a connection but with a uh, it could be connection to that business to that job whatever ends up being for you but uh, or hobby for some um, but I do sense that you're remembering moving forward how worthy you are of love and attention and support because there's parts of your path are winding back if we're being completely real and honest it lacked that support or at least it felt it did or both and so i feel like there's going to be moments where you close your eyes moving forward that feels so peaceful and uh, selectively protected and supported and that's a spirit or two 
who I don't feel are new to your uh, presence, right, to your world. They're either coming back to visit you or have been with you for a while, maybe part of your team of guides. And they're basically saying, Libra, we've got you. Other people will have you in your waking reality and when it comes to the spiritual realm. I really feel like a lot of Libra and Strong to the reading are very spiritually messed with. Um, and yeah, okay, where you live, where you visit, it definitely um, maybe where you work has to do with it to an extent, but you can't be questioning your choices at this time because it feels like certain forces, certain uh, reality uh, occurrences, bad wording, uh, certain uh, occurrences and aspects of your reality otherwise push you to question it, right? To second guess. And I feel like this is a time where you need to be standing quite proud and strong in the fact that you have made the correct choices, even the ones that felt like a slip up, a, a mistake. Um, everything is part of your path of progression, growth, and uh, prevailing in the end. And so don't be surprised when things start to even more so or in general work out for you in your Libra in favor. Um, your Virgo and Taurus placements is what I'm getting. And I would just say maybe your Earth placements as a whole uh, within your chart are coming into play. And you may feel very connected to Earth signs and other Librans, I want to say as well. Um, because of their grounded, uh, passionate way of being, um, and maybe that relatability in other ways. But the judgment card, I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of which onto the reading are going through a release in one, if not multiple ways, but feeling like it, you're leaving um, or have left behind who you once were, uh, partially, if not fully. You can see the kind of um, dancing imagery flowing from her. And you may be pushed to remember when you danced more is what I'm getting, when you were more creative, more outgoing. Um, life maybe has weighed you down and made you less maybe active or uh, expressive, right? We express ourselves in different ways and I feel like that's changing, but you need to remember that you deserve to maybe allow for that inner child to come out to play a bit more, teach you, remind you of this and that, but to enjoy life, your path more. Because uh, if you are adding to what weighs you down or you're adding to uh, what doesn't feel enjoyable or strips that enjoyment away, then you're not doing yourself justice in that sense, right? And they're highlighting that word. They really want you to remember, um, okay, what you went through is what I'm getting because there's time for justice to come in as I just saw the Five of Swords. Um, look at that, the Wheel of Fortune and the Fool card. For a lot of which... A leap of faith from the recent past or maybe rewinding a bit further back is leaving the wheel churning for you in one if not multiple ways and you need to give yourself credit for that leap even if it wasn't feeling fully or all within your control it maybe was uh, fully um, but you made that leap you did what you had to do you did maybe what you wanted to do and look at the wheel churning in your favor it felt like a risk I feel like for a lot but um, there are certain risks uh, in a calculated way moving forward Oof, they're going to pay off, my friend. They are going to pay off. They're saying in a snap of a finger, uh, with a snap of a finger, watch things come to be. Watch things improve uh, and impress not only yourself, but other people. There's a feeling of you being quite honest in your selective Libran way towards yourself and other people, uh, maybe through a situation of importance for you. Um, and this makes the world of a difference. Don't be surprised when more so moving forward, even if this is already happening, you step into a location, a situation, or maybe even more so you choose to get your voice out there because it's so powerful and useful at this point um, and more so along your path uh, in the future. And then this leaves people drawn to you. It leaves people feeling the need to stare at times for the better and or for the worse, but people see your presence and they know you're something to be honored to be noticed and it maybe leaves people with question marks, uh, the mystery rolling around in their mind and awareness. But it's something, uh, there's something about you being a mystery in your own eyes. Does that make sense? It's like, why do I feel this way? Why am I changing this way? Why do I want this? Why do I not want this? Uh, why do I feel attached to this? Why do I feel a detachment coming to be from this, this and that? And so naturally with that wording, a lot of detachment in expected and unexpected ways coming to be moving forward. It's all meant to be. You need to trust the path and trust the process. Trust in yourself, my friend. Very much reminds me of the description I redid due to a very smart spirit within um, my profile, uh, my uh, YouTube page. But the death and rebirth card, because it's the time for you, Libra, where you're meant to embrace the process of this death and rebirth. 
it feels very continued whether you realize this fully or at all okay um, you need to notice that your world is meant to feel again a lot lighter healthier um, so other habits uh, may be coming back to be or in general coming into your world uh, to be utilized for a healthier existence right because you need to be feeling the the health wealth and power in certain beautiful ways but we need to recognize that things are not meant to be the same and that it's absolutely on point and beautiful there's no shame in figuring it out as you move forward um, and i feel like this is going to highlight when you did so in the past and it worked to your advantage maybe partially or fully and there's a glow about you now and more so moving forward because of the changes because of everything that's coming to be remember you have options my friend remember you can manifest remember you are truly truly powerful okay so i hope this was truly helpful i'm sending you so much love and light we'll definitely talk again soon